Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube and welcome to another LEGO Star Wars Old Republic update, another late one. I apologize guys, the past week has been really really crazy. If you guys follow my vlog channel, um, I will be posting another vlog as to why all the videos that really have supposed to have been uploaded for the past week have not been uploaded or even filmed yet. And uh, I can kind of show you guys uh, part of the reason, or actually kind of the main reason why, right here, is my new dog. I will be posting a picture of him up on Flickr, but yeah, he's so adorable. That's, uh, his name is Biscuit. He's just like my other dog. If you guys seen my other updates, I had, I have had my other dog in my other updates. Um, but yeah, he is the same kind of dog. For those of you who ask questions about that, he's the same kind of dog. He's just way, way younger. He's only seven weeks. And um, yeah, but he's the main reason why this update is showing up really late and I have not been able to get any other updates on yet. So without further ado, let's get started. So for the past week, um, what has actually happened? Actually, quite a bit has happened with Old Republic. I did mention to you guys I was going to have an upcoming haul for the Old Republic Troopers. Well, that kind of started. Um, my mom kind of generously picked up two Old Republic battle packs. So, yes guys, I do have two of the new Old Republic battle packs. Two, two of the Sith Commanders two of the regular Sith Troopers and two, or actually four, of the new Old Republic Troopers. And you can see there is a big difference in armor compared to the ones I was supplied to by Captain Rex 1234. So, you know, yeah, that was a big major difference. However, the resemblance is only mild in comparison from the newer Old Republic Troopers, the LEGO version, as to, uh, compared to mine. So, you know, I'm glad to say that I did kind of had a mild, accurate depiction of it, but yeah. So, uh, I got two of those battle packs now, and I'm really pleased with it. I'm kind of uh, not sure why the ships that came with the battle packs are a bit resembling, resembling of the ships that came in the pack for the Avengers sets resembling those hovercrafts. I kind of have no idea why they decided to make it resemble that. I'm not even sure that these ships were actually used in the actual Old Republic game or are actually a part of the game or if, you know, Lego, somebody in Lego just coordinated that as a freestyle and decided that those would be really cool things to include. But yeah, so I got two of those battle packs, and I definitely am going to get more than just two this year, for sure. I will be getting, I don't know, probably like, psh, I don't know, I want to say by the end of the year, I will have at least 20 of those battle packs. So both my Sith army and my Republic army will be at larger numbers. And my Republic army also got bigger in addition to the smuggler category. I made seven custom fig barfed smugglers this past week. And there's one right there if he's got a chain gun. The rest are in the back. They're all in orange. So you guys can kind of see them right there. There's the three in the middle right here. And then there's three further in the back. But yeah, those are all the fig barf smugglers. And my numbers in comparison to each other's armies between the Republic Army and the Sith Army are actually almost equal. So, you know, that was a nice boost for the Republic. As for ships, I still have to actually try to see if I can get some accurate depictions of some smaller ships so I can try to make some custom smaller ships for the Republic on my own. Now, uh, I have something to show you guys right now involving the Old Republic Trooper mocks coming. I actually decided to reinvent uh, if you guys didn't already know, I've decided to reinvent the uh, old Old Republic mocks that I had made last year. I don't know if I did mention it to you guys yet. Uh, I'm pretty sure I did, but just in case I didn't. I am going to do that, and I actually do have a Bricklink order plan that will... A Bricklink order planned that will be consisting 
of a lot of dark bluish gray parts for the skirmish in the tingle alarm mock that I'm going to recreate. And there it is all right there so far. The overestimated total of this order is $50 at the moment, but that's only because I haven't gone through the entire store yet. So I will, in fact, be completing all of those orders within the next week or so. That is, if this guy doesn't keep me up the whole time. But yeah, for sure, I am going to get more involved with the public, Old Republic now that I actually do have some of the battle packs because I actually am pretty amazed with how LEGO actually made the troopers for both sides and actually included a vehicle for the Sith. I am kind of anxious to kind of start getting back into, uh, to start, I'm kind of anxious to start getting back into making custom ships just so I can try to make some smaller ships for the Republic. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much it guys for this past week. Uh, and um, also, uh, a look into what's going to happen before next update. I will probably try to pick up another battle pack and I will probably have uh, a new um, ship for the Republic, for the Old Republic, something that will resemble the smaller Sith hovercraft for the Republic. Hopefully I can get that done really soon. Um, and as for the gameplay videos, as you guys know, um, I will be more than likely getting, uh, or actually not getting, I am going to for sure try to reorganize the playlists for you guys so I can show you guys the past gameplay and storyline videos that have been popping up for the past week or two weeks. So that is it for this week, guys. I will see you guys next time. Please like, comment, and sub. And I cannot wait to see that this army will be fully, probably in the hundreds for both sides, the Sith and the Republic, by the end of June. So I'll see you guys next time.